CKJ Crypto News. I'd like to welcome everybody to CKJ Crypto News. I uh, hope everybody's doing well today. I've pretty much been down the rabbit hole of SEC Chairman Trump appointed Chairman SEC Chairman Jay Clayton. Now, guys, I'm going to actually call this video Wall Street's Next Big Payday. Crypto, next big payday for Wall Street. Pretty much, uh, I've been doing a lot of research on Jay Clayton. It, it, it kind of like really piqued my interest when he said Bitcoin and Ethereum is not a security. Now, of course, I'm an XRP guy. That's a whole nother story. We already done the research on XRP. We already know our belief is going to be number one. But what I'm saying is Jay Clayton here, SEC chairman, is very crypto friendly. Very crypto friendly. He's a former lawyer representing Goldman Sachs. He's almost tied to every bank, every institution. Helped uh, Alibaba raise, I have IPO, groundbreaking IPO, one of the largest in history for IPOs, which is somewhat similar to ICOs, but not quite the same. Uh, what I said basically is Jay Clayton is very crypto friendly, Bitcoin friendly, and his buddies in Wall Street are lining up as we speak right now to blow the door off crypto. These guys are probably sitting back preparing for the next big payday. Now, I believe this is going to be a huge opportunity of all of our lifetime. Uh, we'll get into this video. This article right here, for example, Trump's SEC nominee disclosure offers rare glimpse of clients and conflicts. Now, guys, every client that they say there may be a conflict of interest over here, basically, I've tied him to every client and to every client he's tied to, to some kind of Bitcoin or cryptocurrency or some kinds of investments in cryptocurrency. So that's why I'm saying Wall Street is lining up for the next big payday. So let's get this show started. I'll show you guys. Don't forget. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, CKJ at CKJ Crypto News. Shout out to the XRP Pioneers. You guys are amazing. Yep, second video today. I'm on vacation. What can I say? Dedicating a little time to my channel, doing a little bit of research. Um, it all started with the video I did earlier. Watch the video before this one. Uh, Trump advisor predicts global cryptocurrency, which is a really good video. Uh, but it all pretty much started around here. SEC Jay Clayton lawyer represents Wall Street working on rabbit hole research. Uh, basically, the 10 largest Wall Street banks in the past three years. President Trump's nominee, head of securities commission, Walter J. Clayton, law partner at Sullivan Cromwell, has represented eight of the 10 largest banks uh, within the last three years. So that's huge. That's Jay Clayton right there. He's the one that came out and basically he didn't seem too crypto friendly. Just from the way his demeanor was, but this guy is very crypto friendly. That's for sure. All his buddies are going to make a lot of money. Uh, why Silicon Valley is high fiving over Trump's SEC pick. Tech Crunch, Jay Clayton, Goldman Sachs, Wall Street Connected. So that brings us to this article right here. XRP, baby. Okay, guys, so. Trump's SEC nominee disclosure offers rare glimpse of clients and conflicts. Now, this is Jay Clayton right here, SEC chair. After spending years cultivating an elite roster of Wall Street and corporate clients, Jay Clayton will now be responsible for policy some of those same types of companies. Mr. Clayton, longtime partner at law firm Sullivan and Cromwell, who is President Trump's pick to lead the Securities and Exchange Commission, has represented big banks like Goldman Sachs and Barclays, as well as prominent hedge funds and corporate executives, according to financial disclosure, or made public on Wednesday by the Office of Government Ethics. So basically, some of the clients were listed were Sullivan Crown's World website, Mr. Clayton kept nine others confidential. Damn, nine others confidential. But the following reveals a number of previously unadvertised assignments, including work he has done for companies Facing intense government scrutiny, Dutch Bank, UBS, Volkswagen, on the other end, clients represented by Mr. Clayton, whose given name is Walter, including the Japanese conglomerate SoftBank and film studios Weinstein Company. The Weinstein Company got in trouble for the Me Too movement with all the females, so this guy was a big time pervert. You can Google that. Uh, Reed Hoffman, founder of LinkedIn, William C. Abrey, former head of mortgage firm Aquin. Uh, in the hedge fund sector, Mr. Clayton 50 represented William Ackerman's uh, 
Pershing Square, as well as Bar Torter Jones. All right, guys, so let's get this started. We're going to start up here, and every name listed that he may have conflict with, we're going to run them to cryptocurrency. So the first one right here is that he's represented banks like Goldman Sachs. So we got Goldman Sachs right here. Goldman Sachs backed crypto giant Circle sees a seeks a U.S. banking license. Now he represented Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs backed crypto giant Circle seeks a U.S. banking license. So <clears throat> microphone just sounds like it's really loud. So let's go back to the chart. Uh, Goldman Sachs Barclays right here. He's tied to Barclays Digital Wing created at Barclays. Now the Bitcoin payment, this is Barclays Bank, and they actually created a digital wing. If you go back one, uh, Bitcoin Exchange reached a deal with Barclays for UK transactions. Barclays is talking to clients about opening a crypto trading desk. Bitcoin unlikely to ever hit the record high, Barclays says. Yeah, okay. Uh, but anyway, introduction of to Bitcoin Barclays digital wing. So they created a digital wing. They plan on seeing Bitcoin hit that high before or other cryptocurrencies, that's for sure. Go back to the drawing board. Uh, go down here to the bottom. Some of his clients were listed on Sullivan and Cromwell's website. We got Rodrigo Cohen, the dean of Wall Street lawyers, stated that he sees forthcoming sweeping Bitcoin regulation. Cohen 73 predicted an interview that as global banks increasingly help investors bet on digital currencies. And Cohan, who is a senior chairman at the New York-based law firm Sullivan and Cromwell, and this is also a partner to Jay Clayton. So they're predicting interview as global banks increasingly help investors bet big on digital currencies. So cryptocurrencies create so many issues that not one aging agency can legitimately expect it to deal with them. So basically saying that we need to get the big dogs in so we can get sweeping regulations so we can get this party going. So we can reach that big payday. So, basically, Mr. Clayton kept nine was confidential, but the following reveals a number of previously under advertised assignments, including work he has done for companies facing intense government scrutiny. Dutch Bank. Okay, Dutch Bank. Japanese crypto firm FX Coin has recruited Dutch Bank former foreign exchange dealer Yasan Motustai, senior strategist for the cryptocurrency startup. The Japanese cryptocurrency startup, which was founded by Dutch Bank AG veteran, what do we got next? UBS, 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 Bitcoin can replace fiat money within when it hits 213,000. So don't forget the article we're basically saying these are conflicts of interest that SEC chairman would have conflict if one of these companies was to come up and have an issue with the SEC or the SEC had to delegate punishment for something they did wrong. Jay Clayton would have to uh, recuse himself from dealing with it or voting against one of these companies because it's a conflict of interest. He's worked for this company or represented these companies. Every one of these companies that I'm showing you have ties to cryptocurrency or banking big on a crypto payday. Bitcoin can replace fiat money when it hits 213,000. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. IOTA Volkswagen aiming for early 2019 release. IOTA co-founder targets early 2019 for integration with Volkswagen. IOTA and Volkswagen crypto friendly. Jay Clayton represents them, so you better, you better bank on that. Other well-known clients represented by Clayton, whose name is Walter, included in the Japanese conglomerate SoftBank. I think this was supposed to be this one right here, too. Uh, FX Coin plans to engage in exchange of Bitcoin, among other virtual currencies. Once it finalized regulatory approval from Japanese financial agencies. Uh, is it over here? Okay, no, it's over here. Uh, Yahoo Japan Corporation announced on Friday that it's entering the cryptocurrency space. The company expects to launch the easy-to-use exchange cryptocurrency in the fall of this year. Uh, founded in January 1996 as a joint venture between Yahoo and Japanese multinational conglomerate SoftBank. SoftBank crypto involves Jay Clayton involves. Uh, 
missed on. We talked about him. Reed Hoffman, founder of LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn co-founder, Bitcoin is my five-year investment plan. Reed Hoffman, why blockchain matters. Reed Hoffman on blockchain matters. Here's the real value of Bitcoin. So pretty much he's all over crypto too. Uh, Greylock investor and Uber connected. Reed Hoffman tells Wired why he sees Bitcoin as the future of currency. Now my thing is I'm not here to promote Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency or digital asset at this moment. My, 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 my reason for this video, video <laughs> my reason for this video in particular is to show that Jay Clayton is all about cryptos. Every company he's dealt with is all about cryptos. Jay Clayton is a Goldman Sachs guy. They're all about money. They're pretty much going to get all these uh, securities approved. If they're a security ICO, they're going to get approved through Coinbase. Coinbase is going to offer custody solutions, going to offer security solutions, and they may pay a fine, but guess what, guys? It's a new day, a new way. It's coming around the corner, that's for sure. Uh, where are we at now? LinkedIn, William Ebrey, former head of mortgage uh, firm on Aquin. So he represented this guy. The only thing I can find on this guy right here is this. William C. Ebrey has built an empire on misery. <laughs> William C., and that's not funny, <laughs> William C. Amber, an executive chairman of Oakwin Financial, is a billionaire with a problem. After years of homeowner grievances, Aquin has become ground zero for regulatory shilling by government agencies. And some members of the investment community aren't happy with eBray either. So, basically, Jay Clayton represents this guy. So, we can kind of see who we're dealing with or which kind of direction we're going to go in the future. They're going to do everything they can to support cryptocurrencies. That's for sure. Um, where are we at? Hedge fund sector, Mr. Clayton has also represented William Ackerman's. No, I don't think I could find anything on this one. No, I didn't. The company which Ackerman is several, uh, Ackerman is a major investor in which is being investigated by the S. Okay, Mr. Ackerman is basically right here. He also has represented Valentine Pharmaceuticals. International company in which Mr. Aikman a, is a major investor in which is being investigated by SEC over potential accounting of regulatories. So Jay Clayton is representing this guy right here who is representing his pharmaceutical company who is in trouble by the SEC. So one day you're representing companies going against the SEC and then the next day you're supposed to bring the hammer down on companies that's violating rules by the SEC. So... I don't know. It looks like a huge conflict of interest to me. But the point of the story is, is Wall Street is on the way in on crypto. And guess what? They got their front man, front and center, the one and only Jay Clayton. He was very Bitcoin crypto friendly. So this is huge, guys. We've seen Bitco pretty much. And I tied Bitco to Barry Silver. I wasn't going to throw that in here, but I didn't. His article just came out. We talked about it. Bitco is the first U.S. regulated. Uh, regulated entity to offer custody solutions for cryptocurrencies and they just got approved and then Bitco has a tie in with Barry Silbert DCG group which is Barry Silbert's early investor in Coinbase early investor in Ripple I mean guys the big names are all coming out and for me to tie basically uh, Jay Clayton and every entity that he may have a conflict of interest with to cryptocurrencies come on guys this is huge so basically I'm going to label this one uh Wall Street's next big payday, cryptocurrencies, that's for sure. Alrighty guys, just make a quick video. Uh, just want to familiarize with guys with Jay Clayton and you can clearly see, once you understand where Jay Clayton's coming from, you can clearly understand the direction that cryptocurrencies is going, digital assets is going, that's for sure. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for your time, I really appreciate it. The CKJ coin will pop up underneath me. Please smash that CKJ coin. I do daily crypto videos and daily live streams also. I really appreciate the support everybody's been giving me. You guys are amazing. Have a good day.